Hi, I'm Stavros and welcome to Shannon Fire Station here in County Clare in Ireland. You may remember the last time I visited here, I took you on a full tour of their brand new Scania P320. So that can be found on my channel, just check out the description for that video. But we're back here today to show you around the rest of the appliances. So we've got Volvos, we have Scanias and we also have a Hino truck. And we'll be doing a bit of hosing later on as well, so make sure you stick around for that. Anyway, we're going to meet up with Killian and Danny. They're going to show us around the rest of the fire appliances. Let's go. So I'm now joined by Danny Smith. He's going to take us on a tour of some of the appliances and then we'll be joined by Killian Midlachlan. That's coming up later. He'll show us more vehicles. So Danny, what can you tell us about the Volvo there behind you? Well, Tarot, welcome back to Shannon Fire Station. Last time you were here, you were looking at uh, Alpha One. Alpha One, yeah. Or Scania. This time we're going to be looking at the remainder of the appliances. The first one here is our other Alpha, which is a Volvo. Yeah. It's our Alpha 2. It's a 2003. Yeah. So it's 19 years old now. Yeah. But uh, it's still an Alpha and um, it ser serves the same purpose as the other Alpha 1. So, so Danny, this is Alpha 2 now. It's Alpha 2. But this was Alpha 1 at one stage. It would have been Alpha 1 at one stage. Uh, so early it on gets in demoted once this Scania came. Yeah. <laughs> so Similar, this yeah. is Alpha 2, Alpha 1. Okay, yeah, <laughs> we'll keep moving on, Danny. Okay. Uh, so yeah, the so the equipment on this, what way would it differ to Alpha 1? The fundamental equipment is the same. So we're carrying 1,800 litres of water. It's got high pressure hose reels, low pressure hose reels, and ladders. Right. Okay, the way this one is used is slightly different because we have all our chainsaw equipment on this appliance, right. okay? So it serves as a backup um, Alpha to our Alpha 1. Mm. But so also if there's a forest fire or... You need Tree, to cut trees, trees down, down. Trees down on the road or any okay. trees down on top of cars or anything like that, we would bring our chainsaw right. equipment. So I see we have two generators there. So this one is a generator, a Honda generator. This one is actually a PPV fan. Oh, that, oh that's a pump, is it? No, it's a, oh, PPV, it's a fan. PPV fan. All right. So it's a positive pressure ventilation fan. Oh, so, so this is for blowing out smoke out of a building or yeah, a, so a house? Yeah, so if you smoke in a building, oh, yeah. so say you open the front door and maybe you open a window near the back. Yeah. And you, you put positive pressure into the house, it blows all the smoke out. All right. So basically, to, to clean all the smoke out, give you a clear atmosphere so you can walk in and do whatever you need to do. And then you fuel there two so stroke, four stroke, is because it? Because these, these engines are sitting here for quite a long time, we use this Aspen, ah, Aspen yes. 2 and Aspen 4, because it's got a long lifespan within the, the engine of, the, yeah. of the, the generator and also the PPV fan. And Inside there, we have yeah. small tools. Show yeah, us it's funny, it goes the, the whole way through. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's very good that That's way. That's the yeah. one you're always getting caught there yeah. for, for places to put in long tools, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's very so, good. Yeah. So brushes and shovels and things yeah. like that go in there. And First responder bags up here, hose. Yeah. These are basically go on the road where hoses go in through them, so cars, oh, can, yes. cars can drive over. So the hoses go through here and the cars can drive over? Yep. Ah, oh, yeah, so they're not... The hose will go through the there and there, yeah, and the car yeah, will just yeah. drive over the top. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant, yeah. And then more cables down there. And Danny, behind you then, we have... We have all the chainsaw, chainsaw equipment. Yeah, two chainsaws and all the associated equipment, yeah. all the personal protection equipment up there. Yeah. And Danny, this is very interesting as well, because this is for the chain oil, for the chainsaw. And on the opposite side here, we have the two-stroke, the Aspen Orange. So this is a non-spill nozzle on this. That's it's correct, very good, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So you just turn that upside down, stick it, and once it's full, it shuts off, and then you take it away. Yeah. You're not spilling any fuel onto hot chainsaws. Yeah, so no, no spill at all from this one. Yep. Brilliant. Yeah, and we have the, uh, the splash. <laughs> uh, what would you call this, Dan? Yeah. I have no idea I what, know. What's this? what term. A skirt or something? Is it a skirt, is it? I don't yeah. know. Yeah, it's just to stop the splash of the water. And yeah, we've got all of the hoses down the back as well. Branches, hoses, yeah. 45 mil hoses, and then high pressure hoses. Some yeah. chim fire, chimney fire equipment. All right, okay. And Danny, what's going on in the background here? I see a whole load of firefighters back here. Training. Um, there's, there's a training course going on here today. It's a has, hazardous material training course. Yeah. So Clare County Council fire, fire and Rescue Service run hazmat courses every now and again. And they had orange suits on them? So they that's right, they had chemical protection suits. They were um, simulating um, a chemical incident with a tanker. Mm -hmm. So they had to go in, find out what was wrong, deal with the incident, come out, then go through the decontamination process. So they were going into the hot zone or the red zone where they were um, 
decontaminated using water through our shower, then into the amber zone. Inside there, then they were disrobed. Then, and from there, then they went into the green zone where they had their BA taken off and back into their normal PPE. Yeah. And Danny, am I correct in saying that those orange suits, once they're taken off, they can't be used until they're tested again? That's it, 100%, yeah. yeah. They're one use only. Until they're tested, then they can go back on the run. All right. And the guys wearing those suits, if they are at an incident, they can only wear them for 20 minutes at a time? That's correct, yeah. 20 yeah. minutes is their working duration. All right. So just because it's quite stressful inside there, especially in the heat. And if you're working hard, 20 minutes is, is a long time. Yeah, because you've yeah. got all the breathing apparatus and the suit over you. Yeah, and it gets quite hot, especially <laughs> on, on a day <laughs> yeah. like today when it's warm. Yeah, it gets yeah, very warm. It's very warm today. So they're going to be using the showers in there but they will have to clean up the showers after themselves. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. yeah. yeah there is no one that does that here. Th they have up, to do it themselves. That'll be up to the class president <laughs> there, wherever he is. Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> and now, Danny, we'll just continue walking around this Alpha 2. Okay, yeah. back of the Alpha 2. It's basically, fundamentally the same as the Alpha 1. Mm. It's got a Godiva pump there. Um, all the ladders up the top, 13.5, uh, 10.5 roof ladder. Yeah. And a um, short extension ladder. BA entry control board. Oh, yeah, the yeah, same control That's board. That's right, here, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Godiva pump, you said. Godiva it? pump, yeah. yeah. So it's, a, it's yeah. a 2010 pump. It's about yeah. 2,000 litres every minute. 2,000 litres every minute? Yeah. <laughs> That's very good. Yeah. That's like two IBC tanks yeah. every minute. Yeah. Yeah, that's quick. <laughs> And so it's slightly yeah. smaller than this one. This is 3,000, but it's restricted on the Alpha, the other oh, Alpha yeah, one. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Now we'll just continue walking around to the driver's side. More hoses. Okay, more there. hoses. Yep, yeah. high pressure hose. These are 70 mil hoses. Hydrants, standpipe, keys, bars, and dividing breaches if you need to divide hoses. Oh, yeah, the fire hydrant keys, is it? Yep. Yeah. yeah. And then down here. Inside here, then we've got various ropes. We've got drop lines, we've got general purpose lines, we've got work, working on height equipment. Mm -hmm. Okay. In here, we have knapsacks. If we need to carry water with us, let's say if we're going in off the road and we need to go in for a small fire or uh, like a gorse fire or like that or yeah. a, far, a fire inside the forestry. So we fill them up with water. They're manually pumped. We have a ground monitor where we hook up a hose and we can step away then and that would give us um, water onto a fire while we're staying back out of sight. Or if you need to put it on for a prolonged period of time, Oh yeah, so it sits like on a tripod, doesn't it? It basically sits on its feet there, as you yeah. put those ones, okay. and the water comes out there. Ah, yeah. It has an oscillating function where it will go backwards and forwards, and you can leave it there and it will basically spray, say, in an, in an arc in front of you. Okay. And Danny, what's in these bags? This is a high-rise kit. Yeah. It's basically used in multi-storey buildings, and it's a kit that allows you to hook up to a dry riser system in a, in a, in a building. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And you fill up with diesel there. Yeah, there's a diesel there. Yeah, and moving on here, uh, this is another pump, Danny? This is a lightweight portable pump. Yeah. So basically, if we need to get water from an open source, a river or a lake or a swimming pool or wherever it is, um, this will be brought down. Four people will carry this. They'll put a hard suction into the water source. Then they suck the water out and they pump it back up to an Alpha 1. Right. And the Alpha 1 then will distribute it out to where it needs to go, be it to fight the fire or to another Alpha. So and that's called a water relay and this is, this is an integral part of it. Right. And Danny, when you start up the vehicle, this cable pops out automatically. This is the uh, trickle charger, isn't That's it? right, yeah, that yeah. pops out automatically. And then as you're driving out, the exhaust extraction hose right. will fall off as we go out the door. Yeah, it's very good, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. you know, if you, you can hop in. If you didn't have that, you'd have... Um, black smoke all over the... Ah, uh, yes. And over years it would build up, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it is good, yeah. It's very good. Okay, we'll just hop inside, Danny, just to give them a reminder of the equipment on the inside of the appliances, yeah. And, yeah, we have all of the breathing apparatus there. And, obviously, you would sit here and just put it straight on your back. And what have we got up on top? Up here, instant command surcoats. Oh, yeah. And here we have a hazard hazmat response kit okay. which has got binoculars and um, research material for identifying right. chemicals and you also have uh, two three pin sockets yes for the kettle for the ke <laughs> i wouldn't say they're for the kettle but no it's not for the kettle <laughs> i wish it was for something more <laughs> important than that <laughs> so let's hop inside and yeah it has the manual gearbox six speed gearbox on the volvo 
Uh, what mileage is on this now, Danny? I'll tell you now, it's, yeah. it's over 100,000. I think it's 120, roughly. Yeah. 120,000 kilometres in 19 years. Zero <laughs> three would be kilometres, wouldn't it? Yeah. Just. Yeah. yeah, I think I clocked up that in, what, about 14 months in, okay. uh, in my Scania. But anyway, so this is the reversing camera, That's I That's the reversing camera, yeah. Yeah, and this is for information being sent to you, is it, while you're on the move? This, yeah, this was basically, um, there was a map, but it's all outdated te te technology now. Oh, it's right. been replaced by a uh, tablet. Oh, yeah, okay. So we have a tablet now, we've got all the, the Google Maps and ev yeah. documents, everything is held on it now. So it's yeah. basically, it's, it's all in your hands, you don't have to sit here and look at this. Yeah. On the manual and the gearbox mm -hmm. as well, okay. Yep. Six speed, as I said. That's the last manual one in this. Outside of the, yeah. of the Echo, that's the last manual inside in the, this oh, fire yeah. station. That okay, Danny, let's move on to the next appliance. Okay. Right, so the next vehicle is this uh, 2002 Volvo FL250. With a Simon Snorkel ladder on top of it, which extends up to 85 feet. 85 feet? That's correct, yeah. Yeah. So, later on, we'll hopefully get it out bring you up and give you a look around Shannon. Yeah, hopefully I'll get some nice views <laughs> if I can go up on this. And Danny, the vehicle behind? The one behind another it? Another Volvo. That's another Volvo, it's the yeah. FL260. It's our instant command unit. It's yeah, it's 2012. From, uh, 2012, okay. Yeah. And yeah, we're just gonna hop inside the back, Danny, just to give the viewer an idea of what this vehicle is used for. Okay, you can hear the generator powering the incident command unit there, all the lights and the uh, electrics in the back. So Danny, what can you tell us about the Volvo here? It's all very sophisticated in the <laughs> back of this vehicle. Yeah, this is the uh, Clare County Fire and Rescue's Incident Command Unit. Okay. It's based here in Shannon. It's uh, run with a crew of two, and it's available to anybody who needs it in Clare, Limerick, North Tipperary. It's usually called to larger incidences, mm. uh, level three. Um, so it'll be four or five pumps wow. or above. Um, valuable piece of equipment, it um, provides a medium room for heads of different departments. Yeah. It also has a comms room here, which is where the crew is based. So they're monitoring channels, is it? That's right, here? yeah. So the fire ground channels, yeah. whatever they may be on a larger incident, there could be two or three channels going. And then you've also got the channel that connects to Munster Region Control Center. Right. So everything that goes into Munster Region Control Center is time stamped, this road up there, okay. and recorded for posterity. That is the last um, incident that we were at there. Right. Was, uh, and yes. basically an aircraft emergency up in the airport. So you have different levels of incident, Danny, isn't it? And they're yeah, all one, recorded on... Yeah, one, two and three. Here. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. But this usually goes to the larger ones. You wouldn't see it at a level one. All right. And yeah, just moving to the back. So Danny, this was inside Limerick for five days. Do you remember when they had the uh, floodings around St. John's Castle? That's right, I was inside in it, yeah. Yeah. So ye had meetings here with police and other, what, HSE, was it? Yeah, we were yeah. operating all the, all the equipment mm. and telling the, uh, we'll just say, telling the Limerick Fire Service exactly what the capability of it was and if they needed to utilize any of it, we would do that for them. Okay. But inside the meeting room there, we would have had representatives from Limerick City Council, right. from the police, from um, the HSC, okay. and the fire service. So as you know, it was, it was flooding, so there was a lot of rain and stuff, and yeah. they had all the equipment they needed there, it was somewhere dry, they could go in. Plus, You'll find that these larger incidences, if you don't have a general meeting place, communication breaks down and that's okay. when things go wrong. So it was, it was an invaluable piece of equipment. Brilliant. So, so it, was, it, was really, it was really good, very useful, yeah. So we just walked, oh, you've got a big screen here. Now, Danny, is this for when you arrive at an incident, you can show this through a satellite image, is it? Oh, well, basically it's a TV with, hooked up to the laptop, which would be here, yeah. and it's got a smart board overlay. Oh yeah, okay. So if we wanted to just say we were inside in Limerick and it was the flooding, we could call up that particular area. Oh yeah. We could call it up and then if any plans needed to be made, say in terms of, oh we need the sandbags down here, we need to rescue somebody out of this yeah. house, or the flooding we predict that's going to go this way. It oh, can yeah. all be overlaid with the smart board and it can be, yeah. you can highlight it using the, the markers, yeah, yeah. come up with your plan and then you can you know, debrief crew outside on the screen outside or you can print it off and hand it out. Yeah, and you keep a record of your plan and um, the state of affairs as it is at that particular moment. So you've got different coloured markers here. Yeah. Yeah, the green, red, blue and black. Yeah, so there, yeah. yeah, you can highlight different things on the screen. Yeah. And then this screen is duplicated outside so that the fire crew don't need to come in here if they don't want to. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Well, you couldn't, get, you couldn't get 20 odd people inside here. So yes. we've got a canopy that comes outside so they can stand outside there and there's a large TV outside. 
yeah. and they, they can get brief from there. It's and it also has a heating function as well. Um, the TV outside, yeah, yeah it's got a heated screen, yeah. yeah. That's correct, yeah. And inside in this cupboard here, there's some very important equipment. <laughs> yeah, kitch, kitch, <laughs> kitchen equipment. <laughs> Kitchen equipment, yes. Yeah. Well, well, well. First, so it's got a sink, microwave, yeah. and um, and a kettle, yeah. and, a, and a small fridge actually. Small fridge there. And then the waste bin at the bottom. Yeah. And Danny, all of these services, so you could actually draw a marker up here, even. Yeah, the whole the whole thing yeah. is whiteboard, yeah. So you could if you want. Now we haven't done so. We just used that over there. Yeah. We also use this the drop down whiteboard here. Oh yes. Oh so, yeah. So that drops down. Yeah. So, the senior officer inside here, or EPA, or whoever it is. Oh, they, very they can do their own planning down here. Yeah, and an air conditioning and, unit. And the back so. of that's a whiteboard as well. And this is another one, yeah. yeah. And you've two, two extra seats there. Yeah. And the fold-out table. Yeah, that's fantastic, Danny. I think we'll move on to the next vehicle. Okay. We've got some more vehicles to show you around shortly, but I'm just going to introduce you to Killian McLaughlin. He's got some more equipment to show us around. Hi Severus, so later on we're going to look at our Kilo and our Juliet. So with the Kilo we have a water cannon and that is your toy for the day. Oh, so brilliant. you can use it as you wish. Who do I get to hose? Whoever you want. <laughs> I think Danny might be around again later, so I'm sure he'll volunteer. With water, brilliant. Indeed. So yeah. for the time being we have our new PPV fan. Yeah. So this is a fully electric fan. Um, mm. You might remember earlier in the video Danny showed you the electric or the petrol version. Mm. So the petrol version is much heavier, takes up a lot more space, and obviously works for the environment. So this new model, we have two batteries per fan. So these batteries here have a runtime at about 40 minutes, and they'll be used two to six meters away from a doorway. Right. So we use these after a fire. This is used to decrease the smoke within the building and increase the visibility. So hopefully less damage to the property, and a lot less weight for us, so less damage for us as well. Yeah. So at the back here, you have a very simple operating system. So you just have an on and off system, just here. So you're on, and you're yeah. off. It's very and powerful. With the electric motor, it stops instantly. Mm. So you set out the power, you have a lot less noise, which is great for us. And Killian, behind you, what have we got here? So over here, Stavros, we have two floating pumps. So you see the main body here will float this pump yeah. in two inches of water. And at the back, for each of these pumps, they come with their own float for the hose. Yeah. So any firefighting hose can be used plugged into the back of this, as long as it has an instantaneous connection. This will float the hose then behind it. So this will pump out about 1,000 litres of water a minute, mm. and it'll run for an hour on standard petrol. Fantastic. Yeah, very handy pieces of equipment to have. Yeah, they're great. Yeah. So we would use them for any instances with flooding, um, anywhere where there's excess water that needs to be pumped away from a location. Yeah. Okay, Killian, we have another fire appliance here. Can you explain more about this, please? Yes, Stavros. So this is a, another Scania. It's a P230 model, opposed to our Alpha 1, which is a P320. So this here is a 2010 model. At the back, you can see the high ab crane we would yeah. use for RTCs or lifting uh, vehicles, animals, anything out of harm's way. So this vehicle is very specialist. It has a lot of hazmat and RTC equipment, and it's very specialized towards them two aspects. So after here now, we're gonna move over to the Hino, which is our Kilo One, our tanker. So here at Stavros, we have a Hino 500. It's a 2010 model, and it has around 260 metric horsepower. Oh, yeah. So with this, again, it's very specialized. We have about 10,000 liters in the tank on this. Up top, you can see our water cannon, so inside the cab, we have a joystick. So you're welcome to use that to operate the water cannon. Yeah, let's give it a go and see how powerful it is. Let's do a bit of hosing. So let's hop inside the Hino 500. So yeah, it's a, uh, I don't think I've ever shown one of these on the channel, a Hino 500. No, I'm pretty sure I have not. <laughs> and we have a joystick here for playing Atari. So what you do is you get a screen. No, you don't. This isn't for Atari. This is for the monitor up on the roof, isn't it, Gillian? Yes, exactly. Yeah. So as you mentioned, Severus, this is for the cannon up on the yeah. roof. Also at the front of this appliance, you will see we have a spray bar. So that'll be right. used for washing down the road. And we can also run a chemical through that called Road Bio. Right. It's a chemical that breaks down any oils, any contaminants that may be on a road surface. So we will use that on a regular basis. Yeah, it's very handy, isn't it? It it's blows out. It's very handy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, underneath the bumper. Indeed. And all of the equipment here as well. But yeah, the old layout here of the Hino is pretty basic on the interior. 
of these hinos. And look at this one. You never see this on a truck anymore. Look, an ashtray on the door. You never see that. Um, so Killian, will we start this up and uh, give the monitor a go? Yeah, sounds good to me. Yeah, so I'm dying to hose. Uh, so Danny's going to stand in front of the uh, fire appliance and I'm going to hose him. No, I'm not going <laughs> to. Okay, let's give it a go and see what it's like. Okay, I'm just standing outside now and we're going to shoot this monitor here. Woo, look at that. Oh, it goes a far away. Look at that. All the way over to the car, look. Okay, we're just going to give the joystick a bit of a move here and see oh yeah look at oh <laughs> it's gone into the bushes well, it's very sensitive Killian isn't it very sensitive yeah yeah, yeah look, yeah, that, it, look. it's a, almost making a rainbow look <laughs> there's a little rainbow there I think we're hosing all the people in the forest there <laughs> yeah let me move it a small bit to the left yeah we're just hosing the car there yeah it is very powerful and Killian, you can also move this into a kind of a cone effect as well, can you? You can, yes. Yeah. So if you press this fog button there, yeah. you'll see the pattern coming out of the nozzle slightly change. All right, okay. So it can have a small bit of a oh, delay. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. Yeah, it's really spraying out with water now. Look at the rainbow now, look. <laughs> so you That's see gas. when you change it to the fog, it'll come right in. It doesn't have the throw of the stream. Yeah. God, it goes very high as well, doesn't it? It does indeed, yeah. Yeah, you can go right over that building, look. So you'd have a car extinguished fairly quick with that now. You would, and we use yeah. this for forest fires as well. It's oh. very handy to drive along the road and you can throw water in on top of the trees. Oh yeah, okay. So for that, it keeps the personnel out and it also yeah. helps get water further into the fire yeah. quicker. Yeah, I'm very impressed with the distance. Brilliant. So we also have a tachograph here. Killian, do these need a tachograph? No, they don't. For the type of job we do, we don't use the tachographs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was wondering uh, what it was there for, but I suppose it just came with the truck. Yeah, so that is the Hino 500. Uh, <laughs> quite impressive. The monitor on that is very powerful. Okay, so I've got the harness on here now, and I'm just about to go up the ladder. And uh, Danny's going to give me a helmet here as well. There you go. So, uh, yeah, I'll put on the helmet and uh, we'll climb up the ladder. So yeah, you wouldn't want to be afraid of heights going up the top of this ladder, but we'll go up and we'll see the views over Shannon. <laughs> okay, I'm all hooked in. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. And then he's gonna rise us up. Right, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. So Danny, what's the name of this unit? This is a Simon Snorkel 85. All right, okay. Okay. And you have the monitor here as well for fighting yeah, yeah, yeah. fires. We'll operate the 10 bar. Yeah. And we're standing in. That. So Danny, how high again does this go? Up to here, yeah. 85 feet. 85 We're standing feet. on 80 feet, and it's 85 feet operating height. Okay. Yeah. So here are the views over Shannon. This is the town centre. This is the park area here. And loads of houses over here. And what are they doing over there, Danny, in that field? Looks like is that yoga? Guess, <laughs> right. yes, yoga yeah. That's yoga, right? Uh, yeah, beautiful day for it. And yeah, so this is where I used to go to school. This is the Shannon Comprehensive School. So yeah, when I went to that school, there was about 1,200 pupils in it. Yeah, and then we have the leisure center here as well. There's a swimming pool in there. So we are really high up now, and we have an operator below here as well. Yeah, look at the views up here. And the whole fire station there. And Danny, we have a little uh, tower here as well for training. Yeah, that's our training tower, four stories. Yeah. Yeah, one pump drills, ladder drills off of that. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, over 80 feet high. And County Kerry would be way off in that direction. And then Limerick and County is all over Plus here. The there, there. Yeah. We have Shannon River runs all the way up here. Shannon Airport is up there. So they are the views over Shannon. Quite high up. <laughs> yeah, looks nice up here. Yeah. So Danny, thanks a lot for showing me. No problem. Unit. Thanks. No problem. Okay, so we're just going back down. A huge thanks to Danny and Killian for showing me around the Shannon Fire Station. Really enjoyed my time and doing the hosing as well. 
So they are looking for recruits. So if you are interested in becoming a firefighter, please do call into them here at the station. They're always looking for new recruits and you'll get fully trained, of course. So a huge thanks to you all for watching the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll be back again next time for another video. Thanks for watching. Cheers! Okay, Killian is going to demonstrate the collapsible cones. Look at this, watch this. See how quick that is. <laughs> I love them.